Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, live and in color in my 84 square foot Casita travel trailer 2019. 84 square feet of heaven. Very comfortable here for one person. For two, it would be total hell, I think. It would be difficult with the swivel chairs because they're pretty big. But anyway, having said that, today is the day after yesterday. The day before tomorrow, it's today. How about that? So if you live in the past, you're going to be uh, depressed. If you live in the future, you're going to be anxious. But if you live right now, you'll be watching this, okay? But anyway, what else? So here we are today, ladies and gentlemen. This happens to be December the 19th, maybe. I'm, I'm not, it's close. I know that. But we'll find out. Hey, Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. The time is 7.06 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 55 with showers. It's not raining here. Today, there will be showers with a forecasted high of 64 and a low of 45. No rain here. Have a wonderful day. It is cloudy, though. I will say that. And it, I heard a little rain last night, but my patio is not wet, so I know it's not raining, but I'll probably not. Well, I might do just do laps here and take my umbrella. We'll see. <clears throat> but anyway. Hey, Google. Tell us a joke. I've been working on some material based on facts I've learned online. According to Google search, the second biggest diet trend of 2014 was the taco diet. On the diet, most people dropped at least five pounds of toppings. <laughs> you know, I'm almost scared to ask. I mean, that, that was, they, they got away from the jokes. They don't tell the jokes anymore. At least this thing doesn't. But anyway, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Getting a little chilly up there in them hills, isn't it? Anyway, this is an it. That's my last banana, and that is olive oil's bra. But anyway, it looks like the high today in Bangor, Bangor is going to be somewhere in the 30s, so that's not too shabby. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature <clears throat> in Butte right now is 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Zapata, Texas? In Zapata right now, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's cooler, th it's cooler there than it is here, you know what I mean? So I was thinking about going down in the valley. Uh, in January, but I may cancel that because I've been monitoring the temperature differences by day and there's not much difference. So I, you know, I don't want to really want to go down there and stay in an RV park and the state park down there, Falcon Lake State Park, does not have any internet connection at all and no cell phone signal. And I'm finding that out about a lot of te st Texas state parks and that, you know, for me, uh, I like to have the internet. Why? Because that's just the kind of guy I am. Uh, years ago, I didn't even think about it, but I do now because I do the YouTube stuff. But anyway, having said that, this is a comment call, so what are you supposed to do, Russ? You're supposed to do comments, right? I believe that's correct. Anyway, we've got Terry Zellers. Let me pull this up here where I can read it. My, my readers aren't that good. <clears throat> Terry Zellers on Verizon stuff. I got this plan and have been using it for about two weeks now in my home. 1,010 square feet works just fine. I'm going to cancel my $96 a month plan and will be saving 31 bucks, which means a lot for a retired couple. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Terry. I'm a, I'm a penny pinching dog myself. Uh, Mike Brandenburg, funny thing. A few years ago, I thought I was living well. Then the then Internet came along. Now I can't do anything without it. I hear you. We have come a long way from smoke signals. I wonder what's next. Probably back to smoke signals. <clears throat> yeah, you know, the curve, you know what I mean? Anyway, brighter side, Verizon says, what kind of camera do you use? I have one device for my internet videos and everything. It's called an LG G4 smartphone, and that's all I use. And the reason I got it, I got it on eBay for $75. It has uh, the image stabilization feature, so when I'm doing driving videos, they're reasonably steady. This is R Silvers on Verizon. I saw that it, I saw that AT&T is now offering 5 5G MiFi service in some cities, but it's 15 gigs for 70 bucks. Yeah, see, so that's not going to help me. So this 5G coming along doesn't mean poop for me. 
I think this is a be the better deal because you can still do basically whatever on 4G if they try and throttle you during congestion, just turn it into a night out. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you could do that. Thank you, R. Silvers. Doll Garner or Gamer. Yeah, Doll Gamer. This plan is network managed. It is. It is network managed, but it's never throttled. Now, what the difference between network managed and uh, throttled is, I'm not real sure. Well, actually, I know. It, it's, uh, throttled means you reach a certain level and you're reduced. Managed means, you know, they just kind of work with you somehow. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I thank you for your input. <clears throat> Der Trixa from Germany. Germany. The Gates. You have different system over there in Texas as here at the countryside. We use we use drums to communicate. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Yeah, uh, we do that in parts of the USA too, dear Trixa. Thank you. Laurie Van Hoosier. Mail call. This PBS docu documentary is called Finding Lucy. It's about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Rusty, you could have stared starred right alongside her and possibly been the only leading man in Crocs, LOL. She left a link to something. Thank you, Lori. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Spiderhead. It just dawned on me that he got his new casita yesterday in Rice, Texas, and he's probably out lit sleeping in it this morning. Thumbs up to you, my man. I wish you good luck. All I can tell you is be patient. It is a small space, and it takes some getting used to, particularly the shower. So hang in there. Friday's coming. Enjoy. Next up is Scotty Thompson says, Cool the Rising, truly unlimited data plan, prepaid plan. Did it work? Did, did you work good? It works for me fine, Scotty. Cool, funny mail call. Thank you. LG, make good phone. Rusty, yeah, so far, Scotty. Thank you. This is Silver Turtle 65. Verizon is the best plan hands down for any traveler. Okay, see, I totally agree with that too because I go out west and they've got the best coverage. Then does that mean anything to me? Yes. You bet. Scotty Thompson says, cool comment, call Rusty. Mike Ellis, Verizon. Prepaid is, is always depri deprioritized in times of congestion. You know, that's, well, I, I, don't, I don't know how you know that. That means your data may be temporarily slower than others, only when there's congestion. If there's no congestion, you're at normal speeds. Let me tell you this, Mike. Uh, I get, this morning I was getting, well, right now I'm getting 45, 45 megabytes down and almost two up. That is almost exactly 10 times faster than what I was getting with my postpaid smartphone using the hotspot or just using the phone. Now, if they're prioritizing it, they're doing me a favor and I appreciate it. it says the postpaid plan, Rusty, talks about, talks about allows 75 gigabytes, that's right. Uh, separately allows 20, it's actually 22 gigs on the mobile hotspot and throttles to basically nothing. That's true. And you're absolutely right, Mike. But anyway, the plan works for me and that's all I'm worried about, man. And, uh, but you know, for you, you do what you got to do. Uh, it says, I'm sure you're having good speed because you haven't experienced any congestion as of yet. As you travel around, I'm sure you'll, you know, but I try to think positive, Mike. I'm not worried about the things that are going to happen 20 years from now. I'm trying to get by, I'm trying to get through today. Think positive. Accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. Give me a give me some positive input. Thank you though for your comment. Appreciate it. Rick asks, does it take more data to upload a video than watch a video? I don't know about that, but you would assume it would take the same amount. What is the fact, actual function of the jetpack? It's just a Wi-Fi device. Is there a difference between Wi-Fi and a hotspot? Not really. If only using one device as a jetpack needed for the service you're talking about yeah i just get a jet pack and, and it, it it works just like a modem i mean it'll it'll broadcast uh, a signal to up to i think 12 devices i, I have three and, and it's still good thank you rick uh robin rutschman i guess hi rusty i hope you're doing well i'm doing just fine so far you think yeah i, am. I still have feeling i have a couple of questions for you okay since you have owned the casita, how many times have you used the outdoor shower? None. Are you using your black water tank or are you still using plastic bag? I'm still using the plastic bag and I don't plan to ever use the black water. Why? Because that's just the kind of guy I am. Do you occasionally just take your washcloth bath for convenience? No, I take a full shower. 
I take a full shower because I, I worked it out perfectly. And uh, as you did this for many years, you might fall back into old habits as they die hard. Well, you know, when I'm traveling, uh, if I get to a place where there's no water and I have to use the, uh, if it's warm enough and I have water in my tank, I'll take a shower outside. I, I've got a pad in my pickup to sit out on the ground and stand on and take a shower. So anyway, I just got that just in case, you know, because for boondocking, uh, it would be ideal to just, you know, stand outside because you, you could take a quick, uh, ho I call it a horse bath. Some people call it birdie bath. Just a quick little wipe off thing. You know what I mean? Uh, Gary, thanks for your comment and questions, Robin. Uh, Gary D. Griffin. Hopefully they used a ha backer washer on the inside of the pop rivets. Just pull one of the acre and cap nuts off and take a look. There's probably just a little metal tabs inside those decorator caps. So you might just grab them with a pair of pliers and slide with a slight downward pressure and turn while pulling down. Not really any threads, just the tabs that grab into the rivet shank. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Gary. Hopefully they'll never, I hope they don't come loose. Uh, this is on Verizon, it says Black, this is Black Rambo. Man, you sold me on this one. I have AT&T Mobile, but I'm definitely checking this out. Thanks, man. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, be sure you ask for the prepaid plan. A lot of people are going into the Verizon stores and tell them they want the unlimited plan on the jet pack. Well, the prepaid, po excuse me, the postpaid uh, accounts that the stores handle doesn't have that. You know, you have to ask for the prepaid Verizon jet pack or tablet unlimited plan, 70 bucks. Anyway, Wolfgang, oh, this is Jimmy Van. Good info. Thanks. Wolfgang Hoffman, Mer mail call. Merry Christmas, Mr. Rusty. We love your channel. Beer 30. Thank you for all you do, man. Well, I'm just having fun, guys. I'm retired and I'm just having fun. It gives me something to do. And if those of you, or, you know, those of you that don't want to watch my videos, don't. <clears throat> if you enjoy them, just hang in there, guys. Friday's coming. I mean, I'll come up with something if I got to take a do a video of a bug. Anyway, Steve Hela's got a couple of comments here. Let's see what you got, babe. Uh, agree, animals do not belong in the house, period. Well, that's my philosophy, too, but a lot of people would debate that. Uh, same person. Good morning, Rusty, from the other side of the world. Bali, India, warm 88 degrees today. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bali, Indonesia? The temperature in Denpasar right now is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 81 there. How about that, my friend? That's not too shabby. Uh, shabby. Uh, Face Law, do you, this is the person's name, Face Law, okay. Do you have the telephone number for Verizon prepaid? Ha! Man, good luck with calling Verizon prepaid. <clears throat> you can do a Google search for Verizon prepaid phone number and you'll get one. But when you call it, you're probably going to get postpaid. But So whenever they answer, ask them directly, is this prepaid or postpaid? But anyway, good luck. You're going to be on hold a while. Crane operator, Rusty, I think Verizon should give you a percent dollar amount on the prepaid plan jetpack mobile hotspot, just like Amazon and Casita does if they say you sent them, just me thinking out loud. No, Verizon's not going to give me a penny. In fact, they owe me right now $128 because that uh, I, I originally uh, ordered a, uh, I can't remember, ellipsis jetpack and a $70 plan uh, over the internet. And when I found out the ellipsis was a, was a crappy uh, jetpack, I canceled the order, and that was only a few hours later. <clears throat> that was on the 9th. Uh, they, I called them, and they said they'd issue a credit. Uh, they gave me a ticket number, and they said I'd have the, they'd have, that I'd have the credit in my, on my Visa account by Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday, I called, and they said I'd have it on Thursday. They would force it, whatever that means. I mean, but anyway, I, I still haven't got it. <clears throat> That was last week, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, so, I, and I called yesterday and a girl gave me a treasury ticket number, whatever that means, and assured me beyond a doubt that the charge would be reversed and the credit would appear on my account within the next two to three days. Uh, you believe that? I, I'm losing, I went to the store, you know what they told me at the store? They couldn't do anything. We said, we don't do that. We don't handle prepaid. I said, well, you just sold me the prepaid $70 plan. No, but we don't do anything on their account. It's like there's three different companies with Verizon, man. And they're, never mind. Customer service is really poor, okay? I mean, it's not, it's not poor in the sense that they don't answer and talk to you. It's poor in the sense that when they tell you they've done something, it never gets done. <clears throat> That's where it breaks down. Anyway, Swiveller and, oh, just a minute. Yeah, thank you, crane operator. Swiveller and training, 
Uh, hi, Rusty. I'm trying to get a job with Google to tell the jokes. Good for you. Based on what Google has trained me, here goes just imagining telling. Uh, it says GTU joke. And here this one. What do you call a cat that doesn't eat very much? Answer, a skinny cat. Uh, ending sound bite from that would be a roar, roar runner cartoon with a Wiley walking off a 200 foot Wiley Coyote. 200 foot cliff with a whistle sound to splat on the ground. Funny, right? <clears throat> I know you loved it. But anyway, yeah, he's trying to replace uh, Google. Yeah. Uh, fa face law. Uh, hi, do you have a number for the Verizon prepaid? Uh, just do a Google search for Verizon prepaid phone number. <clears throat> yes, I do have a phone number, but when you call it, you're going to be on hold forever. So you might as well try to get another one and see if you can do better. Uh, face law, it is in the video. I don't know if I put it in that video. <clears throat> I could have. I don't know that I did or not. I may not have. But when you call, just be sure you ask if it's prepaid or postpaid because the postpaid people will answer sometimes and you'll go ahead and give them the whole spiel and they'll say, we don't have a plan like that. I have to transfer already prepaid. So you've gone through that whole wasted moment. But anyway, this is Fred, Fredrick, Fredrick Killian. Uh, he was a feral cat. Now he has a new owner. You? No, he doesn't either. He's he's S O L here. I guarantee you. <clears throat> no luck here, cat. Uh, Mister C. Rusty, will you be going to the R T R this year? Nope, I didn't go last year. I went two years ago, and I ain't going back. Too crowded for old dad. Too much. Too. And besides that, I don't have any reason to go there. Uh, the people that are going there are going there to you know get to do a van build, and you know they're you know they're uh, trying to get ideas from people and stuff. I don't. I'm fine. Okay, I'm, I'm comfortable with what I've got. I don't need any stuff. and uh, But no, it's okay for the people that go there. I hope they enjoy it. I, I didn't particularly enjoy it myself. That's just me. Crane operator, thanks, Rusty. Always enjoy mail call. The cards and the casita fund shows you just how much people care for you. Yeah, it does, and I do appreciate that very much. Thank you. Johnny Dare, thanks for the update. Checking on it right now. Good luck, Johnny Dare, but just be sure that it's the prepaid unlimited plan, $70. Ben Lewis, I have 30 Verizon Nano 4G LTE SIM cards if anyone wants them free of charge. Actually, uh, Ben Lewis, you can go to the Verizon store and they'll give you a uh, 4G LTE SIM card, no charge. They sure will. Anyway, this is Ben Lewis. Uh, very good info. Sounds like a good solution for the rural Internet, too. It is. For people that live in rural areas or are travelers, this is wonderful because you've got secure Internet wherever you have a Verizon signal, and that's perfect. Jeff Erdman, Rusty78609, between your laser-sharp wit and remarkable IT skills, it is remarkable your channel has not exploded. Rusty78609 is my favorite YouTube channel. Happy trails. Wish I had your skills. <clears throat> well, I had to develop these skills to survive on the road and enjoy my life, uh, but... Uh, you know, the reason my, my uh, channel doesn't really explode, to really get your channel to explode, you got to use a little clickbait. In other words, you got to come up with some cute little headings and, uh, and you'll put a girl in a skimpily cat clad uh, a bikini in the background or something. And uh, yeah, you'll get your views way up there. But, you know, I, I don't, I'm just doing this for fun. I, I like the money also, but I'm just, right now I'm fine. Yeah, explode. It, it, I, hell to me, it has exploded. Anyway, I'll do this when they were shut her down. Jenny's Road, I used to be a Verizon Unlimited prepaid customer after being a postpaid customer 15 plus years. What they mean by they will monitor your uses during busy times is they will, will throttle you. I, well, you know, they haven't throttled me yet. The prepaid customer and give priority to the postpaid. If they were given a priority to me when I was on postpaid, well, then I feel sorry for the prepaid people because they couldn't access the Internet at all. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, all I can tell you is, Jenny, right now it works well for me, and as long as it does, I'm going to keep it. I'm sorry it didn't work well for you. Anyway, uh, DJN gives me a thumbs up. Mark gave me a thumbs up. At least it says most reps everywhere aren't kept up to date is my experience, and that's true. You know, they got a lot of turnover, and new people come on. They don't know much about the plans, and, you know, you call at that time, and boom, boom, boom. But anyway, guys, uh, oh, I hate to ask. Hey, Google. Tell us a real joke. Why did the scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. Even, even though we've heard that 10 times, I found out how to get a real joke. 
<clears throat> hey, Google, tell us a real joke. Well, my speciality is interesting. Never facts, mind. Hey, Google, let me try to come. Stop. Thought I had it there for a minute. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you like, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. It does not cost you one penny. <clears throat> what else? What else? <laughs> what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. It's those snacks that put on the pound. Uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. Keep your health. Exercise your body once or twice a day if you can. You'll feel better because of it, and you may live a little longer because of it. Okay, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your mind, your brain. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Don't let the talking heads get in there. You know, this is where you are, basically, your consciousness, and these are your cute little frontal lobes here in the front that make us the superhumans we are. So, yeah, kind of stand guard at it. I mean, I do it, and I, I get I almost get rude sometimes. If somebody starts unloading some trash on me, I say, hey, man, hold it, just a second. I just remembered I got to make a phone call, you know, or something, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to hear it, man. I mean, I don't want to hear a lot of crap about the president, the uh, what's going on in, in uh, Ethiopia or, or anywhere else in the world? You know, I I got I got to find my way around here in my own community. You know what I mean? So anyway, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative, and you'll enjoy your life. Adios, amigos. Bye bye. Uh, I hope it's nice and comfortable where you are. You know, this it's funny this doesn't work. You know, if it's cold where you are, stay warm. If it's warm where you are, stay cold. <laughs> anyway, adios, amigos. Bye bye.